hello everyone welcome to the yarn ball today we'll see how to crochet this beautiful flower pot cover today i've taken a four play yarn and 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so we'll go ahead create a magic ring and uh, do 12 double crochets around the magic ring which includes 3 chains and 11 double crochets around the magic ring so the what we are going to do now is very similar to crochet circle um, so those who have missed the video please watch it again so we are going to do the same thing over again so now my 12 double crochets around the magic ring is complete let's close the magic ring and do a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 which is our first double crochet here so I'm going to do a slip stitch on top of chain 3 so now close the magic ring by giving a tight knot so now our row 1 is now complete row 2 is very similar to the crochet circle that we have done before so chain 3 do a double crochet on the same stitch so each stitch on the previous row we are going to do 2 double crochets so all together we will have 24 stitches uh, 24 double crochets around this row so each stitch of the previous row will have 2 double crochets so please go ahead and do we will meet at the end so now I am going to finish this row so I am going to slip stitch on top of the chain 3 which is our first double crochet so our row 2 is now complete we will proceed with row 3 do a chain 3 and double crochet on this another one double crochet on the same stitch that is two double crochet on the first stitch and then we'll do one double crochet on the next stitch so we are going to alternate between one double two double crochet and one double crochet in each stitch around so one stitch will be doing two double crochet and the next stitch we are going to do one double crochet so we're going to do that around So please proceed like this, we will meet at the end. So we are going to finish this row 3. So I am going to do a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 and finish this row. Now this row is complete, I will proceed with row 4. I am going to do chain 3, do a double crochet on the same stitch, 2 double crochet on the first stitch and then in next two stitches we will be doing only one double crochet so one double crochet in next two stitches and then the fourth stitch I will be doing two double crochets then fifth and sixth stitch I will be doing one double crochet so we are going to proceed like this throughout this row so now I am going to end this row the last stitch will do one double crochet and then slip stitch on top of the chain 3 which is our first double crochet measure your plant and see if it is ok we will be working next row we will be working on the back loop so what I am going to do I am chain one, doing chain 1 and doing a single crochet on the back loop of the same stitch and then I am leaving 2 stitches and I will be doing 5 double crochet on the next stitch that is third stitch from where we have done our single crochet so this is called as our called as our first shell this stitch is also called as shell stitch so after doing five double crochets then I will leave next two chain spaces so on the third chain space I will be working one single crochet then again so everything we are going to do a 
work on the back loops only so next two chain spaces I will leave and then I will work five double crochet on the back loop that is our next shell then again two chain spaces I will leave next two chain spaces and work on the work a single crochet on the back loop of the third stitch from the shell so I will leave next two chain spaces work a single crochet on the back loop of the third st stitch from the ch from the shell so let's continue like this around and then we'll do a slip stitch on top of our first single crochet from where we have started this row now this row is complete so we'll proceed with the next row for this we'll be doing a slip stitch to our third double crochet or of our first shell and then we'll work three chains which will act as our first double crochet and do four more double crochets on the same stitch that is our third double crochet of our previous row cell now we'll do a chain one then work five double crochets on the next third uh, double crochet of the previous rows shell we'll always work on the third uh, double crochet of the previous row so those five double crochets are called as one shell so in that shell we'll work always work on the third double crochet so then we'll work five double crochet chain one five double crochet chain one for this row so we'll proceed like that around and then uh, for the next row is similar to this row 6 row 7 will be similar to row 6 so we will slip stitch up to the third double crochet of the shell and then we will do a chain 3 work 4 more double crochet on the third double crochet of the previous row shell then chain 1 again 5 double crochet on top of the third double crochet of the previous row shell so we'll work the next row now so before that we can just measure our plant uh, with our plant so if our pot holder is fine for the plant that we have so for the next row is similar to this row but only changes we'll be working two chains in between the shells so for this it's similar we will work a slip stitch until the middle of the shell which is our third double crochet and then work three chains which will act as our first double crochet and four more double crochet on the third double crochet of the previous row shell and then we'll work two chains now we'll do two chains in between and then work five double crochet on the middle of the next shell which is the third double crochet
and then work two chains in between so work like this around until the end of this row we'll do two chains now and uh, join with the slip stitch on top of our first double crochet we're getting a nice pot cover which gradually increases so next row 9 will be very similar to row 8 same no change so we'll do a slip stitch until the middle of the chain uh, middle of the shell which is our third double crochet work three chains four double crochets on the third double crochet of the previous row shell and then two chains in between so very similar to row 8 and same as row 8 so we'll work two chains in between each shells there is no change same as row 8 so work like this around we'll meet at the end now we'll end like our previous rows join with the slip stitch on top of the first double crochet which is our chain 3 so we'll keep on measuring our flower pot to see if our rows are sufficient for the pot that we have so if you need to add more rows or if you need to increase as you go you will need to do that by adding uh, one chain in between our shells depending on the pot you have so for me this row, uh, row until row 9 is sufficient for the flower pot that I have so I am ending my row with this and then I am securing my knots and removing the excess yarn so now I am fitting my flower pot. I hope you like this video. Please try this at home and let me know your comments. Please do not forget to subscribe to the Yarn Bowl. Thank you.